What's up guys? Quan Kicker here, and today we're going to be talking about why your leg kicks are getting checked. The reason that your leg kicks are getting checked is because they look like leg kicks. Why do you always look so serious? You're like a fun dude. Like, why do you always look so serious when you're... Anyway, I'm Mike, and this is Hard to Hurt, a channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense, but occasionally we touch on some more sportive stuff. This is a method for the round kick. It's not the only method, uh, but it is a method. If your leg kicks are getting checked or your body kicks are getting blocked or caught, you might be telegraphing the fact that you're gonna kick, but you might also be telegraphing where you're going to kick. In this video, I'm gonna cover two tips to kind of help mix up your kicks and make it harder for my opponent to figure out what I'm targeting. One real easy fix is your eyes. Now, of course, we know we should be looking at our opponent's chest or center mass. Your peripheral vision will give you all the information you need. But, you know, sometimes we look down at the leg and we're like, leg kick! And then, you know, leg kick! And then we soften them up and we're like, head kick! You can use this to your advantage, though, like a look off, like it's common in many sports. Um, you know, if I look up at his head and kick the leg, look up, look down, look up, kick the leg, or I've been frying his leg and I look down like I'm about to murder that thing and I'm like, Pow! you know, with the head kick, you can use it to your advantage. Uh, now that that's out of the way, before we get started, let me go ahead and try to answer some of the comments that I know you're going to ask me. I'm five foot five. I weigh 67 pounds. I'm using a 7,000 pound Outslayer heavy bag that I'm able to fold in half due to the sheer power of my kicks. And yes, my shorts, hoodie, and hand wraps have to match. Let's talk about how to make your kicks all look the same on startup. And that sounds kind of counterintuitive, but when you go to wing a big leg kick in and you're like, here comes a leg kick! Right, they know it's a leg kick. Maybe you can force them to check or make them be defensive or make them scared of your power. But it's telegraphed. Not only is it telegraphed that you're kicking, but it's also obvious that it's a leg kick. This is kind of going to be a weird angle to show this, but I'm going to assume you already have some sort of round kick. That might be, you know, a Taekwondo style round kick. That might be a Muay Thai style round kick. I'm going to assume you've got some sort of round kick and you're just trying to mix up your targeting. So we're going to look at it from this angle because I want you to see that no matter where I kick this knee, the very first step is it comes up, up, very first step, up. Low kick, up, body kick. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Ugh. Up, head kick, up, push kick, up, knee. Whatever kick you're doing, pick the knee up first. Uh, one way you can get a little better at this is you see me re-chambering it and that's not really a necessary step to achieve the kick but learning that position is important I think that's why in Taekwondo and Karate and stuff they re-chamber it actually doesn't add to the power obviously but there's a reason they do it and in my opinion the reason is so you have a better understanding of that position I come up sort of chambered turn it over come back to here and down and that just gives me a better grasp of, of the direction that I'm traveling up, across, back, and down. Now, uh, one important thing, I'm bringing the knee up, but I'm not kicking up, right? I'm not going to kick up, especially on these Outslayer bags. We covered it in our review of them, but also I'm going to link to a Quan Kicker video about developing power in your round kick. And he talks about, you know, force going through the bag. We're not going to cover that. This is going to be just the idea of mixing up the kicks, picking the knee up first, 
turning it over and bringing it back. Up, over, back, down. If I'm making a head kick, sometimes I'll even exaggerate how centered I bring that knee. Sometimes I'll even kick it in like this, and that draws their hands down, particularly if I brought it up and then punished the body, or picked it up and gone to the body, or picked it up and gone to the legs. Ideally, I'm drawing their hands down, and then I'll use the head kick, and it's sort of like a question mark kick, or Brazilian kick, or golden kick, it, or lost kick. It has a million names, but it's just up and over. Now, if only I could make the left leg do it as well. I could throw like just a tie style round kick with my left leg. But as far as getting this thing up, over, back, and down, it's just not as good, all right? That was all right. A little better. I need to go up, over, back, and down. I've been watching a lot of Quan Kicker lately, and he's got me on this kick of practice in my weak side. So if you want like technical, you know, detail-oriented breakdowns of techniques and tutorials, go subscribe to Quan Kicker. He's very beginner-friendly. He doesn't leave anything out. He'll take you from start to finish with a technique. But now if you want more fitness tips and self-defense techniques and some more street shit, some more hood shit, that's what we do on this channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And comment down below if you've got any tips or tricks on how to mix up your kicks and keep them guessing.